Well, I got to drive the original bullet car. Hi, I'm Jay. Hey, Jay, Sean. Hi, Sean, can I get in? Yes, sir. This is the actual car! The one from the film with Steve McQueen. The actual car. And it is totally understored, and it's it's pretty rough. Dad actually was the only guy that called. And really? That was it. He showed up, he bought it, and he took off. Can I ask what he paid for it in 674? Six, $6,000. Well, now that was pretty high, wasn't it? That was very high. The goal was always to leave it the way it was, never yeah. to disturb it. I mean, it's a 390, which was a big motor back in the day, still is. It was about probably 300 horse, maybe 335, something like that. But I mean, this thing, you're dealing with 50 year old shocks, 50 year old tires, but it drives, well, much worse than a 50 year old car because nothing's been done to it. Literally been sitting in a barn for the last 40 years at least. But it was a thrill to be in the actual car that Steve McQueen drove, exactly the same steering wheel, same everything. It's not restored, repainted, nothing, you know. And then they brought out the, the new bullet, which of course, uh, really a fantastic car. <laughs> I'm driving right now a 2019 Mustang Bullet. I mean, obviously better balance, more horsepower, faster. You've got 50 years of improvements in it, but you still get that feeling when you get in it from the movie. Well, let's see what you can do. You know, it's kind of like every time you get in a DB5 Aston Martin, you always have that na -na -na -na. You get that James Bond theme in your, in your mind. And it's like, same thing when you get in this bullet Mustang, suddenly you become Steve McQueen. Not really, but you can sort of pretend. Marketing manager getting very nervous, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You're like, Leno, do what? And you go through the gears, and of course it's got a manual gearbox, just like the original. And, uh, but obviously a far, far superior car. Yeah, I, I think it'll be a huge hit. It's, it's the second time they've done this, and this time it's a real proper sports car.